Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's your boy praying they rose and we are back with another video, man. And today, man, we have all the season pass transformations. Now look, bro. Now look. I know from my past couple of videos, a lot of y'all did get hit with some solar flares. Like I said, bro, I know y'all did. Because you did not see my sub button, bro. I know you got dropped off with that solar flare, my guy. But look, I did some research and it wears off in one or two days. It's been one or two days now. I know you can see. I know you can see now. So you can go ahead hit that sub button for me and I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it, bro. I know you can see, but let me quit playing, bro. Let's go ahead and get to this video, bro. Let's go ahead and get to this video. Now, look, I ain't going to keep y'all for too long. I'm, I'm just about to go through it. You feel me? I'm just about to go through it. So look, y'all, these are all the transformations that we're getting out the season pass. So for the first DLC, we did get Super Saiyan God. Yay, I'm happy for that. Now for the second DLC, we are getting Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta. Now look, I'm very excited for these transformations. What I'm most excited for is the aura, you feel me? Because we already know with the Super Saiyan aura, how it is. It looks, it looks boring looking at blue all the time, but hopefully they'll switch it up, change it up with Super Saiyan Blue auras. It'll be something different. I want to see the new moves, new combos, new different stuff. So I'm very excited for super saiyan blue i can't wait for it to come in the game now look the second one i'm pretty sure we're gonna get this with the third dlc is super saiyan blue kaioken goku now look for the third dlc if it's gonna be if it's gonna be goku black or if it's gonna be hit or universe six definitely if it's universe six we're getting super saiyan blue kaioken goku now how i want this transformation to work is well, if we use Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku and we go Surge Mode and it goes into times 20, you feel me? That's how I want to see this transformation work. I hope we do crazy damage, you feel me? I hope it drains our health so we don't want to, you know, overdo it, you feel me? Because I don't want to use a transformation and keep using it, keep using it, keep using it, and it get boring after a while, you feel me? Like Super Saiyan God, it gets boring after a while, I ain't gonna lie, because there's no specialty to it. Imagine if these transformations get some specialty to it, like, you gotta meet the requirements to do these transformations, you feel me? But for the next one, if it's not Universe 6 and we get Goku Black, we are getting Super Saiyan Rays Trunks. Now, I want to definitely want to see how they're going to put this in the game because this is a unique transformation. Now, the only way I think they could do this is, like I say, if we go Super Saiyan Rage, fighting Super Saiyan Rage, and when we get Surge Mode, then he pull out the sword, you feel me? And now we can start going crazy, start slicing people and going crazy, you feel me? That's the only way I could think that how we get Super Saiyan Rage. But I would love to see that transformation in the game. Something different, something new. I want this game to focus on more of the transformation. Now, the next one I feel like we're going to be getting and it's Super Saiyan Evolution Blue Vegeta. Now look, if Terminal Power ever come to this game, bro, we already know we're gonna get this transformation. Now this transformation, how I want it to work, I wish it's, it is a additional to Super Saiyan Blue. Now I wish that every time we go Super Saiyan Blue, and then after that they add it to Surge Mode, and when we go Surge Mode, then we go Evolution Blue. I would love to see that because I don't want to use a transformation just to go into it. Like if we use Evolution Blue every single time, nobody gonna pick Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. You feel me? But yeah, so the next one is Ultra Instinct Goku. Now me, I feel like Ultra Instinct Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, and Super Saiyan Rage Trunks is coming in the second season pass. I don't feel like we will be seeing them in this first season pass at all. Because there is a second season pass that's coming to this game. And I feel like these transformations are coming to the second season pass. Now Ultra Instinct Goku, how I want this to work is like I said, you use the regular Ultra Instinct. And like I said, bruh, when you go Surge Mode, then after that, you use the Omen Ultra Instinct. Because I'm being honest with y'all, y'all got to think about it like that. That's why I'm putting all these transformations to have a requirement to it. Because think about it. If we get Ultra Instinct and just go into Ultra Instinct, who is picking Super Saiyan 1? Who is picking Super Saiyan 2? Who is picking Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution? Who, who is using that when we got Ultra Instinct? You feel me? There should be a requirement for these transformations. Because if we do it all the time and all the time and all the time, it's going to get boring. It's going to get old. You feel me? We don't want it. We don't want that. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. These games or these transformations should have a requirement to it to make it better, to make it more fun because it's just, it's, it's going to get boring after a while. Trust me, bro. Because I, like I said, bro, if we get Evolution Blue Vegeta, who's going to use Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta? You feel me? That's like, that's like me got Ultra Instinct and I'm using Super Saiyan 1. Why would I do that? Why would I do that for? You feel me? Do I want to lose? It just makes no sense. That's what I'm saying. All these transformations need a requirement. Now, like I said, bro, the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku and the Super Saiyan Blue, 
I feel like we're getting that in the first season pass because we got two things left for this season pass. We got DLC 2 and we got DLC 3. Now, we all know DLC 2 is a boss fight and that's Super Saiyan Blue. And DLC 3 is most likely going to be Universe 6 or Goku Black. Now, look, like I said, if it's Universe 6, that's Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken, Goku. Now, if it's Goku Black, it's going to be Super Saiyan Rage Trunks. You feel me? So, that's how it is. In the second season pass, that's why I feel like we're going to get the crazy stuff like Ultra Instinct and Super Saiyan Blue, Evolution, Blue Vegeta. And we might get Gogeta because they might throw in another boss battle and it might be um, Broly. You feel me? So we might get Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue, Kai Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, Vegeta, and we might get Ultra Instinct for the next season pass. So look, bro, I'm just trying to bring it out here to y'all. You feel me? Because those are all the transformations in Dragon Ball Z. So that's what I think in the order that they're going to be in for these next two season pass. And realize all these characters are playable. You feel me? Goku is playable. Vegeta is playable. And Trunks is playable. You feel me? So realize all these characters are playable. So they're going to have new arcs and new different stuff coming to the game. So they're going to have to put these transformations in the game. But this is the order that I think is going to be in from DLC 1 through DLC, you know, whatever, how many DLCs they have. Through season pass one, through season pass two. So yeah, bro. So tell me what y'all think, bro. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. If you have another list, let's link link it down below. I can't talk. Link it down below and tell me what y'all think, man. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out, bro. I'm out.